Okay, so let's give the AMC Community Edition a try. So to start with, I have to go to the uh, URL, which is the hostname colon 8081 by default. And what I need to do is give it the hostname or IP address for one of the seed nodes in the cluster. So this is just any node in the cluster. And what the AMC will do is learn about the other nodes. So at the top, there is, of course, a dashboard, some various statistics that we can get, definitions and jobs. We'll go through those in just a second. And in fact, I can even select the different nodes of interest here. So if I wanted to take all four, I can take all four here. If I only wanted to do one of these like that, I can hit select and it'll only show me the stats for that one. Uh, or I can hit control and uh, press all these buttons, just do a multi-select and then select all four again. Uh, so when I've done that, uh, what it will show me are, are the stats for all four of these things as uh, we kind of started with. Uh, I can also change the cluster here if I want to a different cluster. Now the different panels are the cluster disk usage which show me in blue how much is being used versus uh, how much is, is total. Uh, and here in the cluster RAM usage, very similar kinds of numbers. How many nodes are in my cluster and the number of namespaces along with the build of uh, Aerospike. Uh, how many nodes are up and how many are down. Uh, in the next panel, we can take a look at the cluster throughput. And this gives you a sense for, uh, you know, for all of the, the throughput going through this cluster. We can see here about 6,900 reads per second and close to 6,000 writes per second going on uh, in this cluster. And we'll also show you the number that were successful. So if there's any discrepancy between these two, there might be um, uh, some that didn't get successfully resolved or maybe there was a request made to a key that doesn't actually exist within the database. Uh, and this particular one, we can take down a node and, and even see what the impact is uh, on the overall cluster. It might come down for a second and go back up. Now, if I take a look at the nodes panel, there are some uh, different details that we can get. I can open up the uh, view details uh, box here, and it will show me a bunch of different stats uh, on the disk. Uh, but more importantly, kind of what, what build are you on, what does this node think the cluster size is, whether or not this, uh, this uh, cluster state agrees with uh, the, the one that you're looking at, uh, the amount of disk and RAM used on this node, the number of replicated objects, uh, and here what we mean is if there is a replication factor of two within your database, you might, uh, you might find that there are actually two copies of that data somewhere in your, in your cluster the number of client connections, the number of migrations coming in and going out. And what these migrations represent is a rebalancing of data between nodes in the cluster. And this should only happen when there was a cluster state change. So nodes going in or coming out of the, uh, of the cluster. And then finally, let's take a look at some namespace stats. So down at the namespace panel down here, there is a set of information about the number of objects that are master uh, within the uh, cluster and how many are replica, what the replication factor was, the least available percentage, meaning what was the node that had the least amount of space, and we've got plenty of room here, uh, the uh, amount of disk used, RAM used, expired and evicted objects. And if I wanted to look at the details of this, I can click on the uh, you know, view details. And the, uh, the namespace will kind of open up all the individual nodes. So within this node, how many were master and how many were, were replica uh, and et cetera going down this list. Now what is important here is that there are some numbers for the amount of disk or RAM used. Uh, right now we're at a very low uh, mark, but as you start using your database more, you might run into what we call the high water mark. This is a configurable setting. Uh, and right now it's set at 50%, meaning if it starts getting above 50%, it will begin to evict data from the, uh, from the, the, the node. Uh, and if uh, you keep writing to the database at a very high rate to the point where you reach the, uh, the stop writes, the SW uh, number here, then the database will actually put this node into a read-only mode. Uh, so these are safety factors that are built into the system. They're completely configurable by the administrator, and you can set these to whatever numbers you want, but these are, are kind of very safe numbers. Now, if we take a look at the other menu items at the top, we can view statistics. So for instance, for every individual node, uh, what are the different statistics? And there are quite a few variables here. Uh, we can see also that there are more than 300 
uh, different attributes, statistics that you can you can gather on the system, and you can even uh, filter on just the ones that you're interested in. So if I put object in here, it will filter on just the ones that uh, I wanted to take a look at. I can kind of move off of that. I can also change the, the refresh interval if I want. Uh, I can move from node uh, level statistics to namespace. So not just how every node is configured, but the namespace itself. Uh, and now I can see all the different namespace statistics across all the nodes. Uh, I do have to select the one in, in question. And then also for the secondary index. And here you have to select not only the namespace, but the, the index that you're interested in. And it will go ahead and pull up the numbers for you. So this will tell you kind of the health of the secondary index, uh, how many uh, of the items here have been indexed properly, and etc. The next uh, menu item is definitions. So we can take a look at how things were defined in your namespace, uh, how many uh, secondary indexes have been defined, number of sets, what kind of storage you have on all of these things. And again, you do have to select the, the namespace if you have multiple ones. Uh, the UDFs, so if you have registered any UDFs within the system or user defined functions, uh, this will keep track of all of them for you and it'll let you know if they're synced on all nodes. And then finally, there is a jobs uh, panel. If you do have queries running on the system, some of these might be long running. Uh, these, th this panel will tell you what are all the jobs that are running. <clears throat> and then finally, if you do want more information, we have a link here at the bottom that says the Aerospike Management Console Community Edition. Uh, and you can click on that to get more information.